just started shooting, and I just, I just lost this nail in my hair. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Let me just tell you, the higher tech this channel gets uh, visually, the more difficult it is to set up. Um, I'm in a wheelchair, and I have like three tripods around me. How did I weasel myself into this spot? I don't know. Am I ever going to be able to get out? I also don't know. So I do every other month favorites videos on my channel, but I really kind of neglect skincare in those videos. Um, so I decided to do like a recent skincare phase video, um, just to kind of take you through some of the stuff that I've been loving. This is obviously not like a ultimate skincare list. This is just what I've been using lately. Um, I wearing absolutely no makeup, didn't even fill my eyebrows, no mascara, so that you could see my see so that you could see my skin in its natural state. Right now I am recovering from having my period. So there are a couple of bigger zits. None of them really hurt right now, but like this one over here never even came to a head. It just kind of appeared red and has stayed like that. Same with this one, same with this one. Um, but those are the three major problems I have right now. The rest are just little things. So we're overall kind of doing okay in the skincare zone. Um, as always, I am not a professional, uh, anything. I cosplay a journalist during the day, but other than that, I don't really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I am just going to show you some of the things that I use. Um, take that with a grain of salt or whatever, you know, I'm just, I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. My skin overall, I'm, I always say is very combination because I get quite oily in the middle of my forehead and in my T-zone, but I'm also very dry out here. So I use lots of different stuff. These are in no particular order. <laughs> so I know that this is the internet and makeup wipes are like illegal. But I like to think that I get a pass because I'm in a wheelchair, so using the sink is very difficult. So I like to minimize my time at the sink. So the combination of the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, and I literally buy these makeup wipes at the dollar store. Like, I love this. Now, it's important to remember that, like, like I said, using the sink is difficult. So really, I use the Take the Day Off Balm to, like, spread my makeup all over my face. And then the wipes are really just taking all of that goo off. Like, I don't know that the wipes are doing anything in and of themselves. But the combination makes my life so much easier because it's so hard to use the sink. So that is how I get my makeup off every day. And then I go to the sink and I wash my face. The face wash I've been using lately because I finally ran out of my Bosha one that I've had for like three years. I've been using the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. It says it's for normal to oily skin. I don't know that this is like ideal, uh, but I typically prefer a cleanser that feels a little bit more stripping. Which is why I bought the one that was for oily skin. Because my skin, it just gets so bogged down. Because it gets gross, so I just like, I like to feel like I got everything off. Um, so this one is also oil control. I think I bought this at Walmart. I always thought of CeraVe as like a generally affordable brand. Yeah, no. This was like $20 at Walmart. That's expensive, okay? That, they should not have prices like that. But I do like it and it's good. Um, and that's what I've been using every day. So I take my makeup off and then I use this. I just realized it said it has... Niacinamide. I did not know that. Hmm. So then most of these are nighttime skincare things because during the day, um, like when, when I wake up in the morning, I don't even really wash my face. I just kind of wet it to get all the like sleep time gunk off. And then I use a moisturizer. But at night I do like hardcore skincare. So the toner that I use every other day is the, um, this, what's it called? Knockout Tingling Treatment by Tarte. I have a whole video on this. I love this. This really helped me with, um, getting rid of a lot of my bigger sort of hormonal zits. And I actually know a girl who watches my channel, hi Carolyn, who bought this uh, off my recommendation and she said it's been really helping her with mask me. So, you know, it's not just me. Other people love this too. So this is expensive. This is one of two, you know, more expensive products on this table in front of me. But I think it's totally worth it. I love this. The eye cream that I use at night. I don't know that I love this, uh, but it's the one I've been using. This is by the Inky List. This is the Retinol Eye Cream. Again, I don't know that I love this. I think I would prefer something that is a little more emollient. Something that feels like it sinks into my skin a little bit more and does a little bit more of a deep hydration. This definitely feels more like I just put it on and nothing happens. That could just be me. Other people love this. It's very highly rated on Sephora. And what I like about the Inky List is that they are more affordable. So I would love to try more of their stuff and more of their collection that's like a collab with Hiram, I guess. That sounds like fun. Uh, but this is, you know, it's not bad. It hasn't done anything bad. And I don't know that I've seen a decrease in eye wrinkles. I definitely haven't seen an increase, so that's a positive. But I would just, I'm not married to this. I'll try other things, you know? So now for, like, my full face at nighttime. Um, what I've been loving to use the most out of everything else is the, this. Uh, you knew there was going to be an ordinary product in here. So this is the Re Retinol 1% in Squalene. I use this most nights. You're probably not supposed to because it's a retinol, but I just love it because it's an oil. Like, 
my skin gets dryish, but like especially at night. So I use this retinol and I put it on and it just really like it's 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 heavy. Like it's a heavy oil. It really goes on and feels like I have oil on my face. It's very thick, but I feel like it soaks in. And when I wake up the next morning, my skin feels so hydrated and plump and I feel like retinol's gotta be doing something good for my skin. So honestly I wish I told you that I was using this retinol like once every couple of nights. But I use it most nights. And then after I'm done using it, I almost always push it into my skin with this gua sha. Now, I don't think this is actually a crystal or a fancy rock or whatever the gua sha is supposed to be. Because I bought it from Shein. I know that's kind of counterproductive to the... I get it, okay? I'm a hypocrite. But I just like it and I swoosh it out on my forehead and then up and then in the cheeks and then in the jaw. And it just, it feels nice and it pushes the product in. I don't know that it does anything actually beneficial, but it feels nice and that's what matters to me. So this and this are my favorite nighttime combinations. But I don't believe that you should be using the same moisturizing product every night. So what I break it up with is actually more expensive than the one I enjoy using. But I've been using the Laneige combination. So this is the Water Bank Moisture Cream and this is the Water Sleeping Mask. Now I bought the Water Sleeping Mask by itself at Winners and I almost did a review video on it because I really didn't like it. But then I looked it up. No, actually, it was Sam who looked it up, my sister. And these are supposed to be used together. So you're supposed to put on the water moisture cream, whatever it's called. And then you're supposed to put this on Acra to help lock it in. It's not supposed to be a moisturizer in and of itself. So doing that, using it the proper way, made it work a thousand percent better. So together, I like these a lot. Not as much as I love the Ordinary Retinol, the way it feels. But I understand that a lot of people don't love the way oil feels on their face. I probably wouldn't like it for day either, but for night, I love it. It feels so great. My skin feels so good in the morning. So the combination of these two is kind of what I alternate between with these two together and then the ordinary on the other nights. Now you might be wondering, Abby, what about acne care? Because you have acne. You're right, I do. So what I've been using lately to treat my spots, I buy these Cosarex uh, pimple patches on Amazon. They're like the only thing I buy from Amazon. And you get three pages of stickers in a package. And, um, okay, so you know how you're not supposed to pop pimples? Okay, I often do. So sue me. But only if they're like, you know the acne that comes to a head? So that's when I pop it. So then when, when it's come to a head and it's got the white head, I'll take a sterilized pin, like an actual pin, and poke the side to like let all that gunk out. And once I've kind of squished it and I've got all that gunk out, I put the sticker on it and I wake up the next morning and you can see that the sticker because these are just hydrocolloid patches, right? So what they do is they attract moisture. So the next morning you see that the, the sticker has a whole bunch of moisture on it. It sucked out a whole bunch of stuff from inside and it helps the zit turn over faster. Unfortunately, lately I've been getting zits more like this where they never come to a head. They just kind of live there like little pebbles buried under my skin. So I don't even get to use these when I get zits like that because it doesn't do any good. There's nowhere for it to pull out, right? Um, but when you get those zits that have a head, you know, you can use this. I've seen a lot of other people also say like, because you can buy hydrocolloid bandages in just like big packages because nurses use them. You can just buy them at like a drugstore. I mean, then you have to cut it up and this is only like 12 bucks for the pack of three. I don't mind just buying these, honestly. It's just easier. I'm lazy and my time is worth money to me, so that's why I just buy those. The lip balm I've been using is this Nature's Aid lip balm that my stepmom gave to me for Christmas in my little stocking she made. I don't know that that's, you know, a big deal to you guys, but I just thought I would mention it and I threw it on the floor. I just wanted to make mention again of the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer SP SPF 47 again, simply because I know this is expensive, like this, Mm, the tart thing might be more expensive, but this is cheaper by like only like $2. I will never forsake this again. <laughs> Do you, if you watch my channel, you remember a couple of weeks ago, I got the dumbest sunburn on planet Earth. It was like a wavy line in the middle of my forehead. It was like a spot here. It was really bad. I had tried the ordinary sunscreen, and that was the first time I had tried it. I don't know if it's just not a high enough SPF for me, if I just applied it stupid. But that was the first time since before I went to New Zealand that I didn't use this. I usually only use this. Now you gotta remember, I went to New Zealand with my dad, and New Zealand is pretty much the surface of the sun, and I barely got any sort of color to me the whole time we were there because of this. I maybe got a little bit of a tan through my nose, but definitely no burn, and look how pale I am. Like, I burn. Um, so I definitely credit this, and I apologize to this Josie Marin moisturizer that I tried something else because I shouldn't have done that because I burnt, and I burnt dumb. So, 
This is my favorite face moisturizer. It's not heavy. It's not greasy. I find a lot of moisturizers really burn my eyes. I don't know what that is. I don't know what products in there that my eyes hurt. But most moisturizers or most sunscreens, if I get them, not even in my eye, but anywhere near my eye, like I'm applying sunscreen down here, my eyes burn. Um, and that doesn't happen with this. The only downside to this Josie Marin mo or, uh, sunscreen, I keep calling it moisturizer, other than the price, is that I can see it leaving a white cast on anyone darker than me because it does leave a little bit of a white cast on me as well. It's, you know, a little bit of a white cast, a little bit of a bluish. So I think that's a problem. I think maybe Josie should work on the formula to make it clear or come out with other versions that are maybe a little bit tinted or something uh, because that color could probably be a problem. But for me, I have to use this. Like, the fact that this is the sunscreen I wore in New Zealand and I didn't burn... That says something. So it's expensive and stupid, but I have to use it. And then the last product we're going to talk about is the only body care product that I brought over here. This is another CeraVe product. This is the Renewing SA Lotion, standing for salicylic acid. Um, I bought this to use after I used the First Aid Beauty Bumpy Skin, whatever it's called, for keratosis pilaris on my arms. I also have a video on that on my channel. Um, and I bought this to use sort of to mo moisturize after... I'll be honest with you, I don't know that I see a massive difference in my KP since using this. It's definitely a good moisturizer. It sinks in, it's nice, it's not heavy, it's not greasy. But I almost prefer a heavier moisturizer. Like, I want to put a moisturizer on and then feel like I have a thick, nice moisturizer on for a while. Rather than something like this that soaks in so fast. Um, so it, it, it is nice. I do like it. I don't know that I'll buy this again. I don't regret buying it. But similar to uh, the CeraVe face wash again I like it I don't regret buying it but I'm just not attached to it and anyway those are all of the skincare products that I have been using recently honestly that's it like that's I know that I probably seem like someone who has a crazy extensive skincare collection but that's all that I have uh well all that I've been using lately and all that I thought was noteworthy to mention to you do you have any skincare products that you love or just that you've been using lately that you want to tell me something about or that you want me to try? I would also be open to that as long as it's not really expensive. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you, especially about skincare because I think skincare is so much fun and it's so unique to everybody and I just love it. It's so much fun. And anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already and I will see you next time. Bye!